G'day guys, welcome back to the channel. This week or today we are looking at Zoom. So the Zoom conferencing app, what it's all about because you never know when you're going to need it, you never know when you're going to um, jump into a meeting with Zoom and whatnot. So wanted to check out all the features and see what it's all about. So right now what you see on the screen is, uh, no, I've logged into the Zoom app or into my account. I've also got a separate one, separate account set up on my laptop so that you guys can see um, the key differences. And if we need, I've also got the same account on my phone. So essentially the Tesla and my phone are under the same account. My computer is a separate account so we can see um, what the key differences are when you join a meeting and whatnot. So first thing first we want to test is when you set up a meeting on your phone app, how quick does it um, actually show um, over here on um, on your uh, on your Tesla. So right now it is actually blank on my phone. It is also blank on the screen over there. You'll see uh, no upcoming meetings today. So on my phone, I'm just going to hit uh, schedule over here. And then over here, it's got all the right settings. So I'll just write uh, test meeting from phone. That's just what we'll call it. Um, and then it's got all the relevant details down here and then it's also got um, iCalendar over here for my phone so that because my phone's connected um, to the car I'd expect that the calendar syncs across as well. So I'm about to hit save. Um, I'll do a countdown so we can see how quick it actually shows up over here. So three, two, one, save. There you go it was literally one one or two seconds at most. And so what happens once you hit save is it opens up the iCalendar invite and it just tells you or lets you check uh, whether or not you want to add it to your calendar. And so there it is. Now it says starts in 29 minutes because that's when it was um, done. Now, I can obviously start the meeting from my phone over here as an example. You can also actually at any point in time access it very, very quickly through your calendar. So as long as your phone is synced to the, to the car, all you need to do is click on the clock up here. Then it brings it up here and you can actually just hit join Zoom call. So if we go join Zoom call. Um, so. Uh, when you are in there, by default, it looks like it mutes you and also video is off, which is fantastic because most of the time when you're jumping into the car, you're most likely getting ready, you're ruffling or you're telling kids to behave or whatever. And so um, it's fantastic to know that. Now let's look at the camera. So if I go start video, you'll notice that now from a seating position, so I'll, I'll flip over to or flip over to the front camera here for the car. Um, so you guys can see how I'm sitting. I'm essentially sitting as low as possible, as far back as possible. So you'll see that even in this seating position here, if I move, if I move away, you can see it's kind of facing from there straight onto this seat, which is great. But again, I'm still a little bit to the side. So if I do want to be center of the camera, I do have to actually move a bit over to the left over here. Um, and so in terms of quality, look, I, I feel like realistically it does look quite grainy. Uh, the colors look like um, like what the cameras used to look like on the side side cameras to face the back. So it looks like maybe 360p or something. It's definitely not um, HD quality um, compared to the other cameras that, that I'm using. So yeah, but at least you can see the facial features and it's still a good feature to have. Um, what I'm not across is how that looks like. Um, if you are in pure darkness and if there is, um, if there is, um, infrared, I believe there is because when you use dog mode and whatnot, you can see in the car. So, um, let's give that a test and let's move into the dark and see how good the camera goes. So we're almost, almost heading into darkness now. There you go. So that's the moment where it kind of switches over. Um, and now we are essentially using the night vision or infrared or whatever that that's actually called. So now that it looks extremely grainy. Um, and with the laptop lighting on the background here in front of me, I'll show you guys exactly how I look uh, on my on my camera now as well. So um, let's go back into brightness so we can kind of finish recording the rest of this video. But essentially that's what the video looks like um, when you are essentially in a meeting. Um, and yeah, 
So let's go and we'll end this call here. And what we essentially want to do, so I'm actually going to jump back into my phone and I'm going to delete this one. So let's see how quick that is. Three, two, one, hit delete. So again, that was just a couple of seconds and it's deleted on there. So that essentially um, gives you a demonstration of how do you set up a meeting quickly and how quick that actually um, that moves into your car. What we're going to do now is I've got my laptop here. So um, we want to test. So you can see here, this is logged into another account. I want to send an invite from this laptop through to my account and I'll see how quickly it pops up on the phone and also on the car over here. So let's go schedule a meeting. Uh, and I'll call the topic MacBook meeting, uh, just so that we know that that's the one that's scheduled from here, just so that it's, I guess, a bit easier. I'll punch in the email that I'm using for the account. We will also go add a whiteboard so we can test that too. And then I'll hold my phone here and I'm about to hit send. So again, right now over here, it says no upcoming meetings today. And let's go save. So three, two, one, hopefully now, or somewhere about there. Let me just double check, I've actually set everything there. Oh, yep, there it is. So that's taken a little bit longer from external, but again, it's still within within seconds. So I'd say maybe that was 10 to 20 seconds at most. You'll see the meetings come on here. It's also come up over there as well. Um, so what we want to do is, let's go with the assumption that we're starting the meeting. Um, someone else is on the laptop on the other end and you're going to uh, take the call and you're going to um, see how the videos look like there. So on my laptop, I am actually going to hit start. Recording in progress. Okay, so it looks like I've started the meeting on my laptop. And then let's join over here. And let's join. So over here, before you join, you can select uh, mute, unmute to start the video, or if you want to start with um, video or not. So I'll just hit join. And look, based on the video settings, and I actually didn't check that, but it says the meeting's being recorded. Um, so you can actually, um, you can actually set that in your settings. That's one thing that I didn't mention at the start, apologies. So what you see on the screen over here in the car is essentially coming out of the feed on my laptop. And if I hit start video over here, that's essentially what you see. Um, that's yourself up there. And then that's obviously me coming from the laptop as the second user. Now the key things is differences. So you can see here that obviously you've got the different participants um, over here and you can see who's muted, who's not muted, who's got the camera on and so forth. But that's essentially the limits of the functionality on, on the app. Um, on the, on the computer though, there is actually a lot more different um, settings that you've got. So um, I'll hold the laptop up. Hopefully you can see that. So you've got security settings, you can manage participants, you can also chat, which I'm sure you can do on the phone or laptop as well. You can actually share screen. We'll check that in a moment. You can pause and stop recording, and I guess you can start to. Uh, you can also do whiteboards. So whiteboards we did enable. So let's actually click on whiteboards and let's go new. And we want uh, to collaborate just to see if we can do anything on, uh, on the car. Okay. All right. So I'm just going through a few settings on there. Now let's test and see if I draw how quick that shows. Okay. So there's a couple of seconds delay. So you can see here that if I draw a line down, you can see that slowly pop up on the left hand side there. So you can definitely do that. Um, and then let's just try. So that's obviously sharing that. Now let's close out of the whiteboard. So whiteboard you can see. Um, let's just share as an example, uh, Google Chrome and I'll go share. Let's see. So that pops up there and that shows that window. So again, if you do need to have a meeting, um, if you do need to have a meeting and you are jumping in the car, 
that's essentially what you can see. Now, just remember that is for all when you actually um, go into uh, when you're in park mode. So if you're in a meeting now, so remember the example that we're using now is the the laptop and the car are two different, two totally separate accounts. So if we're in the car, we're talking to someone on the laptop and then all of a sudden we're like, yep, I'm just gonna start driving. You don't actually have to do anything. You should be able to continue. All right, so let's just move the laptop out of the way because of the seat settings. Now, if I actually just uh, step on the brakes so that it goes into drive. So just imagine we're about to shift the meeting. We're on the phone or on the computer at the moment and we wanna start driving. Let's see what happens. So if I step on the brakes, Right now, nothing happens. It just does the usual setups to get ready. If I put into D, so you can see that it's obviously just taken off there. Uh, it looks like I'm still in the meeting over here and up here still obviously shows that I'm in the meeting. So it's all good. And then if I hit park, it now says T connecting on the video, MacBook meeting. So if I open that up again, gives you the prompt again and it looks like you'll have to start your video again so really it does automatically cut you off um, in terms of the video when you shift it into drive um, and it also uh, also resumes the meeting but what it doesn't do is it doesn't start the video again so by default it seems that the video always stops so it's really good in that regard um, so again, the recap, and I'll just end the meeting here, and I'll go end Re for all. So end meeting has been ended. All right, so back on screen. So the recap is when you do join a meeting, it does automatically give you settings to um, turn on your video automatically or to um, join with it unmuted, but by default, it seems to always mute and turn off video, which is fantastic. Um, other things in that regard is uh, when you do set it up yourself from whether it's your phone or your app within your own account, it literally takes two seconds for it to show up in the car. If someone has sent you an invite to your account um, and say, for example, you're driving, that probably takes more about uh, 10 to 15 seconds. But again, it's pretty, pretty instant. Um, other key differences, the car itself is really just designed to have the functionality of just joining meetings, not particularly hosting and having those advanced features like chat, whiteboard, um, and start, stop recording and, and so forth. All of those features are done more either from your phone or from your desktop and none of those features are available um, on the Tesla. However, if someone is sharing screen or sharing whiteboards or whatever it is, if you're in park mode, you definitely do get to see all of that and you can participate and contribute to whatever meetings you need to. However, if you're talking about joining from the perspective of, I need to present while I'm in the car, you absolutely cannot do that. And um, it also doesn't make sense as a driver because realistically you need to be driving as opposed to presenting. Um, you really shouldn't be doing both things at once. Um, so I think that's essentially a recap of using the Zoom function. Um, and as I said, the key thing is for a lot of people in meetings, if you are recording it, you have no capability at all of doing it from your phone, especially, uh, sorry, not your phone, your car, especially if you're driving. So if you are in meetings with others and you do need it recorded for any reasons, you need to tell them to, to record. And you also need to make sure you tick the settings if you're the meeting creator to say that you want to allow people to be, um, host or they should be able to take control of the recording function. Um, that's essentially it for the, for the video. Um, if you have watched it the entire way, I appreciate it. Thank you very much. Uh, for the ones that, um, are new to here, welcome. Um, if you, and if you aren't subscribed, um, I'd love it if you could give, um, give me the support and subscribe for more content. Uh, if you have any questions about this at all, drop them in the comment box below. I'll be more than happy to answer it, but, uh, that should be it in a nutshell. I hope you guys are well and... I'll see you soon in the next video.